What is good everybody? I am back with a brand new video and today we are going to be discussing is Halo plastic overhyped? Let's find out. Now, I feel like Halo Plastic was pretty sought after right when it came out, of course. Now, Innova's doing a little bit better job of actually keeping them in stock, but there's still some hype around where I've seen on Facebook, and I definitely throw a lot of Halo Plastic myself. And so, I wanted to do this video and try to be as transparent as possible with you guys on if the hype is real with Halo Plastic and why it's so sought after. To kind of determine if the hype is real, I have come up with three categories, all on a scale of one to 10, 10 being the best, and one obviously being the worst. These categories consist of durability, the comfort level of the plastic in the hand, how it feels. Lastly, I feel like the most important reason why you should buy it or you shouldn't buy it is basically the flight and I'll get into greater detail when we come to that category. First off, I want to talk about durability with the Halo plastic. When you have a premium plastic and you're paying $25 for that disc, I feel like you really want it to be holding up for the longest amount of time and as well as keeping the flight out of that disc just like how it came out of the box. Meaning it should take a lot longer time to be in as well as you don't really want any nicks, gashes coming out of the rim very quickly. To kind of tell you guys my thoughts on this, I have the longest Halo plastic, I have bagged this for the longest amount of time out of these ones. And I've had it about two years, thrown it a lot, a lot, a lot. Anybody that has played with me knows that this was a big go-to of mine, and, and it still is. So after two years, I've really only noticed one chip right here in the rim, and you might be thinking, uh-oh, a chip, that's not good. But to be honest, for after two years of having this disc and throwing it very, very heavily, that is pretty good. There is a minor scratch here as well. Comparing this to my Champion Shrike, which I haven't had as long, and I have a pretty good gash out of the rim, um, multiple dings, scratches around the rim, I would definitely have to say the Halo holds up way, way better. And overall, I have noticed that it has taken a long time to beat this wraith in my other wraith is still pretty beefy and uh, it takes a long time to beat this plastic in to actually get a little bit more understable so durability it's everything i'm looking for i'm gonna give it a nine out of ten and say that definitely definitely worth the money it's gonna last you a long long time so. moving right along to how comfortable is this plastic does it feel good in the hand and well, after all, this is just a special blend of their star plastic. It's just a little bit more decorative. Personally, for me, I don't think I've thrown a plastic that doesn't really feel good in the hand. When it comes to a comfort level, for me, it's more about the mold and not the plastic. So if you like star, you're definitely going to like the Halo star. I mean, like I said, not a big difference. It's a pretty nice and tacky feeling. Feels like you have a good grip onto it. I would say that Champion Plastic feels a little bit more slippery in my opinion. Uh, that's one thing that I would say is that Halo Plastic, the Halo Star feels a lot more tacky. Feels really good in the hand. But all in all, I wouldn't have to say that it's the best plastic ever. Personally, I think the best plastic I have felt, and it's not really a driver plastic, it's more for an, a putt and approach, and that is Discraft's Jawbreaker plastic. The softness of that plastic, I think, feels like one of the best plastics that have been made. But like I said, not really a plastic you want on a driver, but it is a really good feeling plastic. Back to the Halo. I would have to just give this an above average, you know, a 7 out of 10 because it's not really making a big difference to me how it feels. I think it feels good. I think it has a good grip, but all in all, I wouldn't have to say that it's the best and I wouldn't say it's the worst. It's just like your normal star plastic you can buy in any mold. Last but not least, I think this is the most important category and, and that is how the disc flies. Does it really fly that much different compared to other Innova plastics in the same molds? A general theory is that Halo plastic tends to be a bit more stable than most of Innova's plastics. I do think to rate this category appropriately, we have to dive a little bit deeper because not all molds have the same flight numbers and you have a Halo turn that is a pretty understable distance driver. And when you get it, you probably still want it to be understable. Otherwise you wouldn't be buying a turn. So to kick it right off, I have thrown obviously a Halo Wraith. 
I've also thrown a Halo Shrike, and comparatively from a Star Wraith and or a Champion Shrike, the Halo Plastic definitely puts a lot more stability on the disc, and I would say that general statement of Halo Plastic is a tad more stable would apply here. Although I have gotten into molds like a Champion Turn versus a Halo Turn, and well, I didn't really see a whole lot of difference between my Champion Turn, this one I have right here, versus my halo turn. So comparing mold to mold, I would say it really just depends. As a general statement, I would say it adds a tad more stability. So that being said, I want to give the category of the flight. I'm basing this off a over stability aspect or is it going to add stability to the disc? And I want to give it a 7 out of 10 just because I I personally think it depends on what mold you have, and uh, like I said, I'm, compar I'm comparing some of the same mold, just different end of the plastics, and that's kind of why I'm giving it a rating of 7 out of 10. Basically saying, you know, yes, it's going to add some stability, but there is that odd chance that some of the discs, you might not see a huge difference. So the question we are trying to answer in this video is Halo Plastic over hype? And well, I have it coming in at a 23 out of 30. I think there is definitely a reason that it has hype. I think some people could get a little carried away and over hype it and build their whole bag out of Halo. But you know what? I say that there is some hype there. And if you really like the plastic, you throw what you like. Evidently, I like it. I throw a lot of it. So for sure, I think it is worth trying out. I think there's some hype there and uh, reasons on why you'd want to bag it. Hopefully this video helped give you a more understanding of my personal opinions on the plastic. I personally bag quite a bit of Halo. I've become really fond of the Halo plastic. Let me know what you guys think of the Halo plastic in the comments if you've thrown it before. And I hope this video helped you guys out. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Go follow Chase and Chains underscore on Instagram where I post there daily and we'll see you on the next one.